So today we are getting the boat lifted and our stands moved so we can paint underneath where all the stands are and we are also getting it lifted so we can move the blocks that are underneath the keel. That way we can work on those spots. We were going to just try to hang before we tried to splash, but we figured this was easier. That way we don't have to worry about it. It'll be done. It'll be taken care of. But look at this blue. It's so pretty. It came out very well. We are very, very happy about it. We're excited to finally be done with the bottom after we start this painting. Of course, it's going to take a couple days because we our paint is a hard paint, so it takes 16 hours once you apply a coat until you can put another coat on. So obviously we wait a day to do it. Hopefully here soon this weekend, we'll be splashing again. We're also, we have to fair in these spots, which we're about to do once they move the boat. And then, like I said, work under the kill, start, you start painting all this together. And then I'm going to finish, me and Matt are going to finish sanding the white and the blue so we can get that started painting because we're redoing that paint as well white and then that blue waterline the blue bootstripe boot strip not exactly sure what that's called is gonna be painted red so it's gonna look really really pretty so yeah we're excited about it let's get to it go we're not the happiest people right now because it's been today's Monday and we put our last coat of this blue on of the antifallon on Saturday morning like I said it's Monday right now it's Monday morning we put it on well I think we got done at 10 a.m. on Saturday it has a 16 hour minimum dry time and when they lifted us this happened. Killed us all the way down to where we had to fare and, and sand the boat. And, and it did it where both the straps hung. This is the other spot. 
connected it here, moved it all there, literally peeling off. This is from the straps from the boat lift, and then it did this, and it did it on the port side as well. Peeled it. Look at that. So, needless to say, we're not happy right now. Pissed off is the word I'm going to use. And we got a hold of the store we bought the paint from. We don't know if our barrier paint, which was Interlux Protect 2000E, we were sold a bad batch or what it was expired because we followed all these steps textbook like it was we applied it textbook so we we're literally we're dumbfounded we don't know why it's doing this um i'll let y'all know what we end up having to do but it sounds like we're gonna have to strip all this paint off when you got set back a week not happy at all at all. I think um, Chapman's, well, that's where we bought our stuff from, is Chapman's and Stewart, where he trusted the professionals. We also found out because we wanted a hard paint, hard bottom paint, and what they sold us, we were told was, and it's not, which is not a big deal. Okay, whatever, it's the wrong paint, but it still shouldn't have done this. I think they're gonna not reimburse us, but provide us with the paint because we spent over over two grand in paint this isn't cheap this is not a cheap process as well like look at this this standing here and it's coming off it, it's not supposed to do that it's supposed to hard and be on there i'm just furious is the word and upset But they're supposed to be sending a sales rep of Interlux out here to look at it because they don't even know why it did it. So, I guess we'll let y'all know what we're going to end up doing, but we're definitely not splashing this weekend like we wanted to, which definitely sucks. We know stuff happens when you're working on boats. Unpredicted stuff happens, but <laughs> that is just ridiculous. I'll let y'all know what we end up doing. <sighs> Say a prayer for us, please. We need it. Hey, y'all. So, where the straps messed up, the paint that I showed y'all, like this, After having our friends Gary and Judy come out, which they're staying at the RV park that we're staying at, they have over 30 years, I want to say, sailing experience. They're very knowledgeable when it comes to sailboats. They no longer sell now, but they have put so much information to us and so much advice. We're so grateful for it. They kind of came out, talked to us, and calmed our nerves about this because we were thinking we were going to have to rip all this paint off and redo it, which would have set us back with another two weeks probably. What they recommend is just sanding the areas that the paint came off and where our stands used to be, sanding it, wiping it down with a tacky cloth, letting it sit overnight, and put one coat of antifouling on, wait a day or two, which we're probably just going to wait two put another coat on and be done with it and then it'll have enough time to dry what we're thinking is because of the humidity down here in South Florida with it being the rain and everything and then how hot it's been the paint has been taking longer to dry because it still feels tacky in some of the areas where it messed up like right here right here it almost feels tacky still so 
after collecting our thoughts and thinking about it, we're pretty sure the paint just didn't dry all the way. So that's what our plan is. That's what we're gonna do. Hopefully it works. And yeah, then hopefully we can stay on schedule and splash this weekend. That's the goal. We're about to start sanding the spots down and then wiping it with tacky cloth, letting it sit. Then we're gonna sand the above the water line because we do have to paint that. We're only gonna put one coat though. And we gotta paint the water line, our boot strip, strap, whatever it's called, trim piece. We're gonna repaint those. Then the paint should be done. We have a couple projects we gotta finish up before we put it back in the water. And then yeah, and then we can splash. So big thank you to Gary and Judy. Y'all literally calmed us down so much and have helped us so much you don't even know we really appreciate y'all and want to thank y'all and we can't wait to take y'all sailing one day <laughs> so y'all can teach us some more stuff give us some more advice about sailing but definitely definitely thank you so much y'all have no idea how much help y'all have been appreciate it So I'm about to paint over where we had to sand, where the paint got messed up when we got lifted and the blocks moved, and then where our stands were, I'm about to paint over. But they've already been wiped down and everything, so I'm about to, to rewipe where I just touched. But they've been wiped down. I'm going to paint them with the, our barrier, the Interlux Protect 2000E, whatever it's called. I'm gonna paint the, these spots with the barrier, wait the amount of time that's needed, and then put the first coat of blue on. So that way we can finally almost be done with the bottom of the boat while Matt's working on above the waterline.
thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Say hello in the comments below. Also, share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to follow along with our adventures.